Hello everyone, my name is Katie and welcome back to my channel Paperwings. Today I'm going to share with you my 2021 aspirations or some things that I want to keep in mind and live by as much as I can this year. I decided to include this spread in my new gratitude journal that I started this year. I already wrote down my gratitudes from last year because even though it was and kind of still is a very challenging year, it's still so important to reflect on the good parts and the things we can, did and will accomplish. This year, I think one of the main things I want to focus on is to be more proud of myself, acknowledge my achievements, and be more grateful of the opportunities, people, and moments that come into my life. Like many, I've struggled with my mental health for quite some time now, and I do believe it's easier to get overwhelmed and perhaps overruled by it when the world outside is as much as a mess as your brain is. Therefore, now more than ever, it's extremely important to not put so much pressure on myself and don't let my perfectionist brain hold me back from creating and discovering more. Above all, understand that it's okay to fail or change the path I'm taking. It's okay and necessary to take breaks to refresh and calm the noodle and live by a healthy and consistent schedule to increase productivity and creativity. Obviously, this is easier said than done and it's definitely more of a process than a simple decision. I simply wish to be more gentle on the soul and the heart and live a more carefree life rather than a stressed one.
the same line of thought, I want to allow space for my imagination and creativity to flow and flourish into new and exciting projects that will hopefully happen in the near future. Besides continuing YouTube and getting more consistent on that platform, one of my big goals this year is to start my own little shop on Etsy. I want to start selling stickers and other little bits of my own original art of all the things I love and cherish. Ever since I was a little girl, I've always loved drawing, but I kind of disconnected with that part of me when I got into college. Recently, I've been slowly trying to rediscover myself in little doodles, and it's been really good for my mind. So that's definitely something I want to keep doing this year. With that in mind, I want to focus on being as unique as I can be without getting influenced or even intimidated by others' journey, but rather inspired. Everyone takes their own path on their own rhythm, and just because they might be closer to the finish line, if that even exists, doesn't mean yours isn't valid or successful. Music is another form of art I've loved for as long as I can remember, and it's been a part of me all of my life. So another thing I want to improve this year are my guitar, ukulele, and piano skills, so I can produce more music and maybe even create covers of my favorite songs to share here. On the subject of hobbies, I finally got into gaming after years of stalking streamers playthroughs online. So another goal is to discover more games and have more fun with that. Maybe even reach a 5 star island on Animal Crossing or a platinum and naughty dog game. Who knows? On the other hand, I also want to get into reading again. I was such an avid reader and it's still a passion of mine, but last year I completely disconnected with that side of me. Between the pandemic and my thesis, my attention span was at minimum, so this year I want to create more reading habits and dive myself into new worlds and new characters.
Lastly, I want to be more open and loving as the world needs or should be by this point and also connect with family and friends and show my appreciation. Portugal is currently in lockdown number two and even though it's scary and uncertain, we can't let the situation we're in create a barrier from the people we love and eliminate all the moments we can share. So, whether it is through a screen or face-to-face, -face, obviously, when it's possible, it's essential to stay in communication with the world outside our walls and be grateful to have that waiting for us on the other side. And that's it, that's all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and hear me rambling. I hope it inspired you to make your own aspirations if you haven't already. It's so important to reflect on ourselves and see where we want to improve or where we intend to get to. And I believe this is a good way of doing so. I hope you have a lovely day. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye everyone.